Now we go to the other end of the spectrum and we talk about a small beauty play and mm -hmm. that is in Bali. It's a manufacturer and franchisor of uh, skincare products and services as well as in the retail space on those products and services. Indeed, so these are stores actually in the retail malls. I think they are known by Plasticol, which was their previous brand as well. Perfect 10 and then Dream Nails is theirs too. It was previously known as Skinwell. Well, the listed entity was. It's had a couple of name changes. Uh, Esna Colain is the CEO of this company. It's small, it's tiny. Market cap, 41.4 million rand. Uh, currently not profitable. So it doesn't have a price to earnings ratio and uh, certainly no dividends being paid. So it's been a bit yet. of a tough story because Esna wasn't originally the CEO. She was the corporate advisor. And then what happened is the founders were uh, sidelined in the business and there was a transition of control effectively. It's got uh, quite a nice network of stores though and Esna is an extremely experienced corporate executive. But highly competitive arena. Paul. This you just look at uh, Sorbet coming in Indeed. and what Sorbet has done on the nail So somehow I don't really know this stuff personally because Sorbet seemed to have taken the same tough environment and been very successful with regard to the nail bars and the beauty treatments and the dry bars and so on and so forth. In Bali's battled a little bit and when you see the share price chart, you'll see what that battling looks like. It's a share price that's alternating between sort of 10 cents a share, gets as high as prime 20 target, or 30 cents. Is this a prime target? Potentially a sorbet comes in and says, let's, let's take out in Bali Beauty. It's and possible. It's possible if business. they wanted a listing. But they probably see themselves as competitors. I'm not sure what Ian Furr's strategy is with regard to sorbet and what he wants to do there. Plus, remember, there are a couple of other players in the market as well who are never sleeping. So I think for the moment anyway, between Esna, Kulain and Vessel van Amerva, who control the share register of Mbali, I don't know what their plan is other than to trade their way forward and profitably and so on. Are They've recently done another acquisition. So Are you going to call it hot or not? I'm going to say not hot, not because of any reason other than it's a bit small. You know, for me, as you know, billion rand market cap is what you're required to have in order to get an automatic hot or at least to be considered for a hot.